What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we have some major breaking WWE 2K22 news as a lot of details for the game have been leaked online uh, late yesterday night in the past like five hours, six hours or so. It's all come to my attention that a lot of stuff has been leaked including the cover star, the cover art, the DLC, what the uh, special edition is going to be. Like, it's all coming out. It's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it straight away. The cover star, as predicted by myself, is the man himself, Rey Mysterio, the ultimate underdog, the master of the 619. Rey Mysterio is the cover star for WWE 2K22, as I'm sure a lot of us predicted. I definitely did. The moment we saw him revealed in the trailers initially, uh, I was like, okay, Ray is 100% the cover star for this. So, the cover star is revealed, but there is also some more details that have been revealed in this leak. Atop of the cover art, it says... PS5. Now, recently, we have all been wondering if WWE 2K22 is going to be on the next-gen consoles. And according to this leak, it 100% is. It says PS5 at the top. Obviously, we have two different cover arts. We've got the, the standard one, which is the one on the right. And then the deluxe edition cover art, which I personally prefer, is the one on the left. I will be picking up either that version or the special edition. But I'm going to need some more details before I make my mind up on that yet. Speaking of the special edition, we don't know too much about it. However, we do know that it is NWO. Theme. So, based on the new world order, that will be very, very interesting to see what comes included in that special edition. You know, we've had NXT edition, we've had a Ric Flair edition, we've had a Seen Enough edition, we've had a SmackDown edition. NWO, why not throw them into the mix? Let's see what we get. Will we get some signed memorabilia? Will we get exclusive DLC or Supercard content? I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. But moving on from that, speaking of the DLC, it is reported that the pre-order bonus DLC will be The Undertaker. But not just The Undertaker, no. Undertaker should, fingers crossed, hopefully come standard in the game as he has done for all of these years. Now, I don't know whether we'll only get one version of Undertaker standard, the normal dead man, or we'll get the American Badass or, you know, big evil Undertaker alongside that. But if we don't, we have three DLC versions of the Undertaker. We have the Phantom Mask Undertaker, the Lord of Darkness Undertaker, and finally, I am very excited for this one, the Boneyard Undertaker, along with my faction cards for the Dead Man and also my faction perks and bonuses. This will be called the Undertaker Immortal Pack and it should be be legendary. It will come bundled in with the deluxe edition of the game, so make sure you pick that up if you want to get these. But I'm sure as every other year, if uh, if you don't later on down the line, it will come with uh, the uh, DLC standard probably a few months into the game's launch. You should be able to download these uh, at a small fee. So yeah, deluxe edition once again includes this Undertaker pack and the season pass as it does, along with maybe some other things. I'm not too sure. I think it may just be the My Faction cards, the, uh, the My Faction perks and bonuses, the season and past and the Undertaker pack for the deluxe edition this year, which I think is a good little bundle overall. The tagline of the game will apparently be when it's your yard, it hits different, lay down choke slams as the dead man. So I hope you know that that's what's being reported right now. If it is, you know, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, there's been no information revealed as to the NWO edition. But finally, we'll talk the final detail that has been leaked. Another major leak is that WWE 2K22 will be releasing a three-day early access on Tuesday the 8th of March 2022 that would lend to the belief that the game is a standard release on Friday the 11th of March. So, we didn't have a release date, but if the, uh, the three-day access is coming out on the 8th, surely the release date of the game is going to be March 11th, which is great because it's early March, not late March. I was kind of hoping uh, that it would be early March, so I am very happy but there you go that is all the wwe 2k22 news and uh, details that have been leaked uh, recently in the last day or so uh, for you guys to know let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below this has got me a lot more hyped for 2k22 than i initially was uh, i don't know which edition i'm gonna buy it's either gonna be the deluxe edition 
or the NWO for Life edition, but I'm really going to have to see what's in the NWO edition before I pick it up. As uh, yeah, I'm sort of I'm, I made the mistake in 2K20 of buying the SmackDown edition and paying like 150 quid for a game that absolutely sucked. But anyway, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling related content. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ah!